In this lesson we'll discuss virtual machine scale sets. Just talk about a bit of the theory first behind them. Virtual machine, virtual machine scale sets are Azure compute resource that you can use to deploy and manage a set of identical virtual machines. With all VMs configured the same, scale sets are designed to support true auto scale and no pre-provisioning of VMs is required. So it's easier to build large scale services that target big compute, big data and containerized workloads. For applications that need to scale compute resources out and in, scale operations are implicitly balanced across fault and update domains. Now over to auto scale. To maintain consistent application performance, you can automatically increase or decrease the number of VM instances in your scale set. This auto scale ability reduces the management overhead to monitor and tune your scale set as customer demands change over time. You define rules based on performance metrics, application response or a fixed schedule and your scale set auto, auto scales as needed. For basic auto scale rules, you can use host based performance metrics such as CPU usage or disk I.O. These host based metrics are available out of the box with no additional agents or extensions to install and configure. Now we'll see the practical session of the virtual machine skill sets. All right, so first we have to create a VM image. We'll create a new virtual machine. After creating the VM, we'll install a web server on the virtual machine. I'll create a custom image from that Linux virtual machine. Click create to create a new VM. Select Ubuntu server and then the server version. After that click on create. After that we'll have to specify the name. I'll just use Linux VM here and select the this type as HDD. After that give the username as Kalyan P. Password and confirm password. I'll create a new resource group, specify the name as RG Linux VM. After that click on OK to proceed further. Here I'll choose the VM side as A0 Basic. After that click on Select. Here I'll keep all the default settings and I'll change the monitoring as disabled. After that click OK to proceed further. We can see the summary of that virtual machine. Click on create to proceed. And this will deploy a new virtual machine. Here we can see the machine is creating. It may take some time. And we can see the machine has been created and the status is running. So we'll now connect to the VM. Copy the SSH details there. And 
we'll reconnect our uh, bash session here. Paste in the SSH and click on yes and then the password. All right, so we can install the web server here from the command line if we so wish. We'll just update the packages, which we've done quite a few times in different videos. Here we can see the packages are successfully updated. After that, we have to run the command sudo apt-get minus y install nginx this will install nginx web server on this vm and then press enter all right so you can see the nginx web server has been successfully installed we'll need to open up port 80 through azure so we'll click on the vm and then go to networking and then click on add inbound rule select services HTTP and then click OK to proceed further you see port 80 rule has been created now we'll test the web server for this virtual machine. Copy the public IP address of this virtual machine and paste it in a new tab. And you can see the web page has successfully loaded for the web server. Go to the Azure portal, create an image for this VM. To create a virtual image first, we have to generalize this virtual, uh, this Linux VM. We'll go to the uh, command line and run the command sudo wa agent deprovision and press enter. This command will deprovision the virtual machine. Press enter to proceed and then press Y. After that type exit to exit from here and go to the Azure portal to stop this VM. Click on Y and then it will deallocate this virtual machine. And you can see it's been deallocated. We have to mark this Linux virtual machine as generalized. Run the command AZ VM generalized resource group name and then VM name. So we have marked that virtual machine as generalized. After that, we'll create an image for this Linux VM. Go to the virtual machine and click on Capture. And here we have to add the image name. I'll specify it as Linux VM image. I'll use the existing resource group RG Linux VM and then click on create to proceed further. Right, the VM image has been created successfully. To view it, we have to go to all resources and you see the VM image has been successfully created here.
Now we'll use this Linux VM image to create virtual scale sets. Now we'll run a command to create virtual machine scale sets. Run the command dayz vmss create. And then after that resource group name, scale set name, image vm image name. Upgrade policy automatic instant count to, admin username and uh, gen generate SSH keys. After that you press enter. The command has been executed, it may take some time to create this virtual machine scale sets. This command will automatically create a load balancer for this virtual machine scale sets. Alright, we can see the command has been successfully executed. Now we'll check whether the VM scale sets have been created in the GUI. Go to Virtual Machine Scale Sets and you can see Linux scale set has been successfully created with two instances in the resource group RG Linux VM. Now we'll see more options for this Linux scale set. Just click on Linux scale set and here we can see an overview of the Linux scale set. And if you want to see the instances we can get to that uh, the instance details here. Here we can see two Linux virtual machines are running. After that we'll see scaling. We'll change the instant count and we can enable auto scaling here. Next we'll see storage. Scale sets use the manage disk. Operating system next. Here you can see the operating system. If you want to change the size of the Linux scale set we can do so here. Just select the new VM size and click on select. I'm not going to change the VM size at the moment. If you want to see the properties uh, click on the property tab. After the creation of the virtual mach uh, machine scale sets, a load balancer will also be created. You can see it's been created for the virtual machine scale sets. Just click on that load balancer and then check the details here. On the right side you can see the summary of that load balancer. If you want to change any settings we can change them here. You can uh, ch change and edit the settings of the load balancer. Alright so I think that's enough for um, for the moment. We'll be discussing a new topic in the next lecture but thanks for watching.